Good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Josh. And I'm Courtney and today we're here to talk to you all about the ABCs of printing performance wear. Recently on the last couple of weeks we've had a lot of activity on the Stalls TV forum and we found a lot of decorators still asking questions about performance wear, new styles, how to print them, how to choose them. So we thought we'd take today's episode to kind of walk through all the ABCs of printing um, and deciding on how to choose performance wear and how to sell it so your business can be successful. So Josh, um, do you want to start us off? What are the ABCs of printing performance wear? Yeah, we're actually going to roll through E today. So who <laughs> knows where we'll pick back up next time. But we at least have A through E today. And the idea is we want to look at performance wear in its entirety and speak not only to decorating it, uh, which we'll get to on the back half, but also just the fabric itself. And A is for aesthetic. What is trending? in looks in performance wear. What are you seeing out there? So the trends in performance wear actually mirror a lot of the trends we've been seeing in regular um, retail inspired design. So we're seeing a lot of heather garments like um, on the Meyer grid garment here. Um, so we're seeing a lot of this distressed heathered look through all of the fabrics um, coming in 2016 and this past year. And so that's definitely one trend I see in performance wear. Yeah, and that's happened sort of over the last year or two, but it's really strong right now. So not only in performance fabrics, but in tri-blends and sort of anything that's forward and fashionable, um, you see a lot of heathered choices in addition to uh, basic finishes. Now, something else that uh, we're seeing a lot of that's been well documented, but just to highlight it, uh, because it's coming more and more, are these patterned uh, prints in performance wear. So performance wear is a polyester-based fabric that is sublimated, and ultimately, if you look close at this garment here, we have the uh, side inserts that are sublimated prior to construction of the actual fabric. We have underneath the sleeve, and we even have um, inside of the hood. So just incorp the incorporation of patterns and prints in general and performance wear is prevalent. And the cool thing is, when it's used as a complement, it still leaves your uh, basic decoration areas open. Uh, for you to customize without having to worry about the challenges printing on these uh, sublimated prints uh, poses. Right, so we're seeing a lot of the prints overall um, either in all over garments or in just some spot color areas like we're seeing here on this Sandmar garment. Um, what other trends are we seeing right now in the aesthetics? Uh, really it's, so it's more from a style standpoint, so of course there's still huge growth and a huge baseline number for growth in men's and ladies. But the growth in youth is something that's been reported to us from Sanmar, a uh, sponsor of Stalls TV. Their youth line of sport tech has actually increased 120% wow. in sales uh, over the last two years. Um, and that's for a couple of reasons. We'll talk a little bit about their performance line specifically uh, when we get to letter C. <laughs> uh, but just the youth style in general, it, it's not just for uh, professional athletes. It's trending down uh, to youth apparel as well. Yeah, and so, you know, with the Sanmar Blanks, I think all of their um, sport tech lines really popular because it's a pretty inexpensive performance fabric, and it's kind of what you're seeing people want to wear. They want to wear stuff that's comfortable, that's lightweight, that's dry, um, fit. So if you're a, a youth player, which for years, um, t-ball has been one of the biggest things for youth sports, and so if you were playing a t-ball game in the middle of uh, Florida in the middle of summer, you probably don't want to wear a cotton t-shirt if you don't have to, and the cost is really very close for performance fabrics versus cotton, so the decorator can really give that added benefit without driving up the cost. Yeah, and, and the reason youth are wearing performance, I mean, let's be realistic. They're not going to shave a, a millisecond off the 40 right. time when you're talking about a, you know, an eight-year-old. Maybe. Um, they, they just feel, they believe. And so that's our B, it's belief in what performance wear does. So uh, share a quick story. I was hanging out with my niece and nephew last night. My nephew's a pretty good basketball player. And my niece, um, who is, I think, like five years old, um, is trying to learn how to shoot foul shots. And so he's coaching her. He said, Audrey, if you just say, I believe this will go in when you shoot it, it's going to go in. So I think the end result was she finally made one. But the point is, it's belief of the athlete. And as a decorator, just coaching uh, the, the customer to understand the functional benefits that performance wear can provide. And that starts with being educated on those functional benefits so you can translate that belief to your customer. And, and something brand new from a functional standpoint in performance fabrics is the MyoGrid line from Stalls. Uh, it's top notch as far as what it delivers uh, functionally for an athlete. And so we actually had Dave Wheatley at the recent SGIA show in Atlanta, which was about, I guess, a few weeks ago now, um, go through the MyoGrid line, and we're going to share that with you right now.
Hi, my name is Dave Wheatley. We're here at the SGIA show and we have some really exciting new things to share with you. Uh, we've just launched a brand new performance apparel brand called MyoGrid. Myo equals muscle, grid equals target of performance. And what makes us so excited about this product is it's unlike any of the other products that are out there today. So and it all started with the innovation and the technology and we went with a high-end nylon yarn which has just this incredibly soft, supple feel to it. Um, the, the traditional product that's out on the marketplace is polyester base, and it's a, a, a rather ordinary cut and sew kind of product. With this nylon yarn and our seamless knit process, it allows us to put in a number of functional benefits right into the apparel. So from things like in our training hoodie that you see here, we're able to knit in our myovent patterns. So where you sweat the most, it breathes the best. So across your chest, under your arms, or down your back. Um, in the compression line of products that we have, we're able to do very similar things. So again, the nylon's very soft and stretchy. It's meant to be like a second skin for you. So it's gonna breathe really well, it feels great, and it's not restrictive at all to your movement. We're able to knit in that muscle mapping process so it gives you a little bit better support through what you wear. So to kind of cover what the lineup is, we have both a men's and women's line in compression. And so we have a long sleeve, short sleeve, sleeveless, and, and even some, uh, some underwear that uh, is, is very commonly used. In the training series, we have the t-shirts and the hoodies. And actually, here's a version of the men's t-shirts and a nice heather blue, and we carry that in the blue and in the same gray, and then we also have the hoodie. And for the females, we have this hoodie in a gray, and then also this gorgeous pink here. So one of the other cool things about MyoGrid and stalls is because performance apparel is so prevalent right now, everybody knows that printing it and decorating it is a challenge. So we have some of the latest and greatest uh, technology of our applications and materials that go on in a nice low temperature so you don't get the big heat press scorch mark on there. Additionally, a couple of the other benefits that you have too is we allow you to pull from our inventory. So it's available to you at any time. You can buy as few as one piece and sell it as you sell it. So everything from here we think uh, like the MSRP on this hoodie can be around uh, $50 and your price is about 25 bucks delivered. The t-shirt, a comparable product out on the market is uh, they sell for $65 to $80 for a couple of the other brands that are available today. This one we sell to you at $18.50 and we think you can resell that every day at $37. So with that, we thank you very much for your time. We encourage you to go to MyoGrid.com, check out our latest videos. We have a number of new products that are coming in quarter one of 2016. And again, my name is Dave Wheatley from MyoGrid and Stalls. Thank you very much. Have a great day. So we want to thank uh, Dave for the time there presenting that at the show. Um, these garments are phenomenal, and the customer really has to put this on, touch it, feel it. You have to order some of these and check these out, and then the profit margin is phenomenal as well um, on the MyoGrid Performance Apparel. So MyoGrid.com is a great place for them to check that yeah, out. absolutely. It's crazy how much these fabrics have just evolved. It's almost like watching something out of a futuristic movie and just seeing how they help athletes perform, so it's impressive. Yeah, and I can't wait to see what MyoGrid launches for Q1. Actually, I've seen a little bit of it, but <laughs> you can't wait to see what MyoGrid... I can't imagine there could be much more changes we can make to performance wear, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. So, let's we're on C. So, B is for belief, so make sure you translate that functional performance over to your customer. And C is for a big word. You want to give it a shot? I'm going to wing it. Uh, I'm going to do cationic. So, for <laughs> oh, yeah. those of you um, wondering what that means, um, we're going to talk a lot about just the um, when you're choosing performance wear and deciding on fabrics, one benefit of Sandmar's um, Sport Tech line, which we've talked a little bit about here this morning, and we've talked some on the morning show, but I definitely want to draw attention to it, is the fact that their Posi Charge line basically means that when you print performance wear, if you've ever noticed the challenge um, where sometimes the dyes in a fabric, like a red, a navy, a black, could come through to the transfer or the screen printed ink, these Posi Charge garments are going to make sure that that ink is not going to bleed through the transfer. So you can put something nice and soft and stretchable and, and comfortable on the garment and know that it's going to last and that it's not going to bleed through. Yeah, so C being for cationic, it's actually a cationic polyester, 
Um, it's PosiCharge, is Sandmar's brand name for it. So it basically gives you peace of mind as a decorator. All that means is I can use the best possible feeling transfer. I know it's not going to bleed. I can have the confidence in taking one sort of factor out of ruining performance where right. removing risk of bleeding is a very big deal. Absolutely. And I think that's why Sandmar citing some of the growth numbers that they're citing on their sport tech line is because of the posi charge styles and the cationic polyester. Yeah, I think now, a couple of years ago I would have been dying for a polyester like this, decorators used to always say, how do I know if it's going to bleed? And you would say, uh, not real sure. Test one, you right? Gotta, you can't really guarantee it, but now they're they're able to do that with these fabrics. It's huge. Yeah, and so uh, the, the fabric construction is big in general, uh, especially when it comes to the letter D, and that's decoration. So there's a lot of different ways uh, that we can approach decoration, and we'll highlight some different uh, transfer styles for you. But the the fabric content is what it starts with. And so we've looked at uh, the Sandmar Sport Tech line, which is the polyester based. And now we've looked at the uh, MyoGrid line, which is actually uh, primarily a nylon based construction. Um, so, what are the different ways to decorate the synthetic fabrics that are out there? So, there's actually a transfer type um, when it comes to heat printing these. There's a heat transfer for basically any job that you can print, any color, any um, order size, all of that's available. So, I guess I'll walk through the options. So, um, for those jobs that you have that are what I consider low color counts, low quantity. So we're talking one to two colors, um, you know, below 24 to 48 pieces. That's where I'm looking at CAD Cut Premium Plus. And so Premium Plus is just a CAD Cut material that can be cut on the vinyl cutter or ordered in transfers. It's got some stretchability to it. Okay. So Premium Plus is definitely the first one I recommend. Um, as you start to look at larger order sizes, because we know everybody wants to be able to print larger orders, and I'm sure you get requests for those, especially for teams and things like that. Um, I would look at a screen printed transfer like ElastiPrints. Um, and then for all of my full color transfers, anything with high color counts, I always move towards um, full color transfers or the Stahls Tech line. And one thing that all of these products have in common versus any other transfer type is the temperature that they apply at. So one challenge with performance wear, and we saw this a lot recently on the forum, is people keep saying, why am I getting these heat press marks? Why am I getting these scorch marks? And that always happens from a high heat. All of those have a low temperature that apply below 280 degrees or below. So it helps eliminate or reduce any scorching on these synthetics. Good, good. So from a decoration standpoint, um, one is addressing uh, adhesion in the garment, making sure it's not going to bleed. Um, and two would then be just picking a transfer type that presses at 208 degrees or less. Absolutely. Okay, so as you make your way over to the heat press to demonstrate this for us, I want to sort of summarize those three print options in the buckets for you. So we have CAD cut. Um, the particular product is Premium Plus. It can be cut on a vinyl cutter. I'm going to put that one in the bucket of low quantity, low color. Then we have Elastoprints, which is your screen printed transfer option. We're going to put that in a bucket of high quantity, low color. And then we have the Stahls Tech line, which is a digital print and cut transfer that you can either produce off of Versacam or order as pre-done transfers. And we're going to put that in the bucket of high color any quantity because the reality is you wouldn't want to screen print a 20 color graphic even at quantities of 500 pieces. And that digital option is going to be great. So three big options, Premium Plus, Stahls Tech, and then Elastoprints. Courtney, what are you going to show us? All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to print on these MyoGrid or these vented garments. And so one thing to keep in mind, uh, we're going to show a unique placement area, but I want to touch on when you start printing and personalizing these for decorating them. Um, you want to keep the areas that are breathable, which is one of the huge selling points and one of the functionalities of these garments, open. So there's breathe strips. Depending on the garment, this I'm using is actually one of the um, athleisure style of training garments. And they've got some uh, vented spots, which is great for breathability and just making sure you're um, you're cool and dry, but you want to make sure not to put your print over that. Also, not have an overly large print that's going to feel like it's weighting down the garment. So you want something that's thin, lightweight, has some open areas to it, and also doesn't block those designs. Now, I'm going to do a unique print location um, because I think you guys have all seen us print quite a few fronts of the garment. So I'm actually going to print the sleeve and just do a quick print area. So I'm going to load these onto what's actually the shoe platen. So if you've seen us use this to print shoes, I'm going to use it to print these sleeves. Now you could easily load this sleeve on a 16 by 20 platen, um, cut a print perfect pad like you see here to fit the spot, and just load that in there to do the print areas. But since I have my shoe platen, I want to get creative. 
with it, and this will allow me to print both of them at once. And one thing I really like about these training garments is they actually have the um, holes here for your thumbs, so it's really great for those that run and do kind of fitness and things like that. So I've got a fitness logo here I'm going to apply to it. I'll preheat real quick just to get some of the moisture and wrinkles out. And then I'm going to line up my transfers. And this I'm using CadCut Premium Plus. Remember, this is one of those choices that we chose for low temperature solutions. Apply it at 280 for eight seconds. Once that's complete, I can peel my carrier back, give it a couple of seconds to cool down. And then we've got a completed, ready to go garment. And so the idea with this is that there's a lot of areas you can print. Um, so I can print the front, add some additional print areas to the sleeves for additional um, upsell, and even some areas on the hood if I want to get into printing those types of locations. So the, the opportunity is definitely there with these types of performance fabrics and decorating them, and it's easy to do. Yeah, and I know you can't uh, reach through the screen there, but if you could, um, you would love the way this looks and feels and stretches. So another key when you're sourcing a, a material for decorating performance fabrics is to consider how much is this going to stretch. And we see a lot of stretch and recovery that's required in a lot of the base layer garments right. or, or even ones that fit snug uh, like this training gear. And then some of the loose fit t-shirts, yeah, we don't really need the stretch functionality, but it's a consideration of what you're picking. Now, I know there were some questions coming through uh, here from our viewers, so we're going to um, turn it over to uh, Joe if you can direct some of those questions into us. One of the questions is they'd like to know what the temperature is for using the Stalls Tech products. Good, 280 degrees, and it's never under the heat press for more than five seconds at a time, um, so it definitely keeps a low temp and a low time, which is great for performance fabrics. Going back to the uh, MyoGrid product, they're interested in knowing, would this be a, an equivalent for the uh, popular Under Armour type of garment? Good, so the, the comparison to Under Armour, at least from my perspective, is um, a lot of decorators don't have access to Under Armour unless you're a large sporting goods dealer. Um, but this is, this is a great choice that I think functionally is better than Under Armour, but of course it doesn't carry the, the UA brand on it, um, which is going to be a challenge for you. But for the decorator that doesn't have access to Under Armour, or even the decorator that does, um, it's a great opportunity. And the profit margins are ridiculously good, as Dave highlighted in the video, right. uh, for your business. They recognize the fact that uh, there's quite a bit of detail in the design that Courtney put onto the cuffs. Um, they're looking for some suggestions on how to get that detail with their Premium Plus. They seem to be struggling with that a little bit. Yeah, so um, with Premium Plus, there's definitely some tips to getting better detail. And what I did when I actually cut this is I learned a lesson that I think will be valuable and I switched my blade out so I had a sharp blade. Um, the blade that was in our vinyl cutter actually had been cutting, we cut everything here, so glitter and a variety of materials that dull down the blade. If you have a um, sharp blade and you have um, a slower speed, it'll help you have much more success in cutting premium plus in general, but definitely in getting that finer detail. Um, so definitely a sharp blade. Um, I think I've covered most of the tips that I have when cutting premium plus, slowing down the speed, that should help. And minimal blade extension I think would be the other one. So um, more blade out can actually work against you. So just the thickness of the actual premium plus is what you want the blade extending. And then the only other thing I would add to that is um, uh, the, the vinyl cutter makes a difference too. Um, a lot of times uh, people will use a, a relatively inexpensive vinyl cutter that doesn't have very good material handling. That might have a stepper motor. You can notice right. those are pretty loud uh, when they're cutting, but the material can kind of pucker on it, especially when you start to cut in the middle mm -hmm. of your material. Um, so if your cutter has a few pinch rollers on it, usually it's compensating for um, not having a strong fan to hold the material flat. Um, so it really does matter if you go into like a graph tech or a roll and you get better uh, cutting ability or even a higher end GCC with a servo motor helps uh, for those applications. All right, that's a long answer to a short question, <laughs> but those are all the tips. Um, this question apparently uh, ties into the after the uh, workout gear has been worn and you've done your workout or your yoga. They'd like to know uh, what heat transfer material you would use for a felt wine bag. Or a fell, yeah, so you're drinking <laughs> wine after your workout. Uh, that's how you work that's, out, right? That's actually how I work out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I would recommend anything really for a felt bag. We've had a lot of success with our glitter flake, um, fashion film, anything that goes on a cotton polyester base, as long as you can get a flat print area works well. Somebody's thinking of some holiday gift giving. <laughs> we have a morning show about that where we actually print a felt bag. So visit stallstv.com. You can check that out. Any additional questions uh, about performance fabrics? No, that's it at this time. Okay, excellent. So uh, we won't leave you hanging at D, although D's for decoration. Our sort of closing comments are the letter E, and that's evolve. And we're not only are the performance fabrics evolving and you need to stay on top of it, but your business needs to evolve and start printing performance where we see that being as one of the most important things in 2016. Right. Sam already noted that a lot of people even decorating for youth are already buying and they're seeing a lot more people buying the sport tech line because other decorators are using it it's kind of becoming the universal standard I always said at some point it was going to replace the cotton t-shirt and I really think we might be getting close to that it works for every market it works for um, not only athletics but it works for corporate apparel and, and athleisure as it gets more popular in retail um, so really there's no reason not to print it and and start becoming successful with it good so our Monday morning challenge to you there are two types of decorators out there in our industry there are those that are growing and those that aren't. Typically the ones that are growing, we find in analyzing our numbers, are those that are ordering performance wear transfers, meaning they're printing performance wear and they've evolved to make it part of their daily offering. So we would challenge you that if you haven't done it yet, we've told you enough, it's time to jump on this trend, which is a mainstay of printing performance wear, and let Stalls TV help you do it. This has been our Stalls TV Morning Show. What are we talking about next week? So we got a couple of things new at Stalls TV. Next week we're going to be talking on the morning show about logos. So how to take a logo and print it in a variety of different options to really expand what you can do with a customer's logo. And then aside from that, we're going to talk a lot about what's going on at StallsTV.com. So we have an exciting giveaway. If you haven't headed over to the Stalls TV forums, we're giving away a Fusion Heat Press. And we're going to be doing it here on the morning show on December 21st. So um, tune into the... I guess go to the forums to sign up and wait, wait, start wait. the... Before you, before you close yeah. this, how they sign up? So what do they have to do on they the forum? Just got to go to the Stalls TV forum, okay. introduce yourself. So if you haven't done that there, um, there's a lot of conversations going on. And then ask two questions or answer somebody's question throughout the forum. So just post two places. A lot of these questions that you're asking on the morning show, remember throughout the week, you can always go on there and get answers from either um, experts like Josh and I or other apparel decorators. So it's a great way to get those answered. Okay. Fantastic. So head on over to the Stalls TV forum and good luck on all your print jobs this week. Thanks for watching Stalls TV.